Hi, in this repair video, we're going to change out the pinion gear on this 2011 Articat F8. Um, all 2007 to 2011 electric starts are exactly the same. Um, Articat sells, it says update kit, so it's basically a repair kit um, that fits all these models. So if you're having electric start issues, first, when you turn the key in, if you hear nothing, first check the fuse, um, check the battery, make sure you've got power. Um, second, if it sounds like a bag of rocks, it's probably the pinion gear. If, um, the, pinion, if the pinion gear is in good shape, um, it shouldn't sound like that. So basically, Here's the new pinion gear that I got in the kit and it also came with a new spring and a snap ring. So the pinion gear meets up with the teeth on the clutch. Um, this one's in excellent condition. It, it looks practically new. It was new because I did replace the clutch not too long ago. But if you, you can see the pinion gear um, on here, it's very worn. So when it was working, it sounded very grindy. So it wasn't engaging properly. It eventually gave out. Um, another issue you can have is the flex shaft. The flex shafts usually break um, where they join onto this shaft. There's a shaft in here, a solid shaft. Um, and where the flex shaft meets the solid shaft, it usually breaks at that connection. And you could also hear the starter trying to start, but um, no effect because the shaft is just spinning and not throwing this pinion gear out. So this upgrade kit does come with instructions. So you can follow the instructions on there. Um, you do have to be careful because some parts you have to keep and some parts you have to reuse. And you have to remember how to put them back on properly. Because if you put them back on the wrong way, you have to get your snap ring off and get it back on again, which is the, the hardest part of this job. So if you can, keep your old snap ring in case you lose your new one while you're putting it on. So the first part is just hitting this back. So there we go. So the instructions say 716 socket. Hit that back and expose your snap ring. And you have to get this collar held back while you're getting your snap ring off. So I'm going to grab some vice grips. So some nice thin vice grips are probably the best for this one. And up. If you have any questions on how to get your clutches off, um, I've got other videos you can look at. Let's skip that part in this video. So, a little bit tighter still. that snap ring there. Now I've got to play with that. Um, I have cut this before which I found to be the easiest way but 
and you only have one to play with and they do they can fly so you can lose them and I only have one new one It's not like you can really get in there that easily to pry it off. Oh, that one started. I want to hold one screwdriver here so it does not go back in. The last thing I want it to do is to slide back in. I'll pry the other side off. So, and there it goes. But I have recovered it. So I'll keep that as a spare in case something happens to my new one and release this carefully because there's a spring there. So remember the way, direction that this goes. There's spring off. I'm just gonna set these aside. Now, and then there's another collar that you'll have to reuse. So you're gonna reuse both those collars. You know, put the new spring on. Um, put your pinion gear off. The instructions say to pull off a rubber washer, but there's no rubber washer on here. So you can see how mangled that is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but there's supposed to be a dust seal on there. This one did not have a dust seal on there. But I did rob one off of another sled that I'm going to put on. Because that any dirt is going to prevent that from... Flying out like it's supposed to. So that's nice and clean. So... The strange thing is the last time I bought this kit, it came with a little bit of grease and it said to put the grease on. This one is not saying to put any, any oil or grease on there. So what I'm using to clean is, is AMS Oil MP. It's a very light oil. It's kind of like WD-40. But it will clean and it will also lubricate. So I'm just going to leave, use it to clean and then I'm going to leave it on there. And then we got to reinstall everything in the reverse order. So our new pinion gear. So yeah, I'm going to clean these collars up a little bit too.
discard the old spring, I grab the new spring. So that's the way it goes. This one's on the inside. The spring. And then this one's on the outside, but the large lip goes to the outside on the wider collar. And that's because it goes right over the snap ring. See the groove in there? The snap ring sits inside there. So what we'll have to do, put this back on again. I grip it down again. And then this is where you really don't want to make a mistake because after you get the snap ring on, it's hard to get off again. And you have to do it all over again. I've made that mistake before. So, new snap ring. And we're going to try and do this. i try this. Not working so well so far. Part of why it's not working as well is because my hand and socket are oily. And I'm not getting a good hit on here. Go. Snap ring is on. There we go. Yeah, that slides much better than before. Okay. Pull this back. It says to pull it back, but you, you can't do that by hand. Let's see if I can push it. So that's something I'll uh, play with some more. So basically this collar, you just have to pull it back so it snaps over the snap ring and doesn't do move like this. I'll do the off camera, but then once you do that, put your dust cover back on and you're good to go. See you next time.